Here is a 29 pound, two ounce, Moulin de Passe, Miracarp, taking on a 14 nil, Pichonino, Ultra Fluoro pop up. Um, just had a double take, and one of those slings contains a 40 pound common, and the other one contains a 30 pound mirror. And uh, playing both fish in, and my son Tom took the second one and landed the 31 pound 10 mirror. So we're going to see some pictures later, but and that's a PB, and that's a PB for Tom, and it's a PB common for me. So that's what you call a great morning. First passe, 40 pound carp, take on a chopped mint, uh, pop up, fantastic, 40 pound two, comma carp, what a magnificent beast. Good job, chopped mint, well done mate. Sturgeon from Moulin de Passe. Um, it's taken a liking to the chop mint. All the fish fall into the chop mint now. Uh, the Carpa Ultra Fluoro range. Um, the fish are really getting on the bait now, feeding. The fish are venting out um, the boilies that I'm feeding in now. Um, feel that every time I, I pop back up with bait, there's an opportunity there for another fish. So we'll see what comes along later in the next. of mirror carp. The fish are on the bait. It's the fourth double take of the session. This goes along the common which I've just had at 32 and a half pound. This is 31 pound 15 ounces and they love the Carpa Ultra Fluoro Shock Mint. Here we have 29 pound mirror carp caught about 20 minutes ago, um, a rather change of tactics, no bite in this area for 30 hours, so I decided to do something a bit different. Swapped over to the full dispersion version of the chalk mint in a red. My bait's red, so it was a little bit less obvious that over the top of it. Moved to a new spot with a new bait, and away it went. 29 pounds of Moulin de Passe carp. Fantastic. <laughs> Here we have 
have £31.12. Beautiful common carp, put up a really good battle. Falling to the carper, dispersion, chop net, mint in the red. Um, changed over baits and it's the second one from the spot. New spot, new bait colour and uh, it seems to have made a difference. So it's looking good for a few more fish today so hopefully we might have a few later on. Another immaculate common taken on the dispersion chock mint fished as a snowman. The commons just keep coming. There's fish on the spot. A really good chance of some more. Carper dispersion, 14 millimetre chock mint pop up. Fished over a bed of boilies. Um, slight change of tactics. Put a lot of boilie in the bait boat last night and uh, dropped out the pellet. And it seems to have had the result that we wanted. So I'm using two rigs, uh, which I've been catching all my fish on, a snowman rig and a pop-up rig. So effectively I've been using a size 4 gardener incisor uh, with a rig swivel sliding up the shank. Um, but this is actually fixed on the hair, so I actually tie it around the neck of the swivel. And you'll see that in the close-up pictures and it controls how much it can flow around. Far better than using rubber stops. I then tie a no-knot onto, the, um, uh, onto the, the hook shank. 10 turns normally that's what I normally do on a size 4 and then what I do is I put a kicker this is the mimicry one from Prologic but any kickers that are on the market now for the size of the hook will be fine that's really repeated on the pop-up rig so the pop-up rig has a size 6 gardener inside so it's smaller to match the single bait it's a 14 mil bait um, I've got the same rig swivel on the shank and I've got the same liner liner tied with a no knot underneath I'm using ESP Tungsten Loaded in 25 pound and I'm stripping, what I'm leaving, I'm leaving about an inch of stripped back material between the bottom of the line liner and the skin. And then what I'm doing is, I've taken this one off so you can see it, I'm actually just putting a little bit of putty around it. On the pop-up rig, I'm putting a BB shot and a little bit of putty around the outside just to keep the shot on the hook, uh, keep the shot on the hook length and that will basically hold down a 14 mil uh, chalk mint which I'm using on both both rods and that's it really simple really don't have to go any complicated than that and it's been catching all my fish hope it helps
So on our Moulin de Passe session and this rod, the left hand rod rattled off with a 19 and a half pound common carp. What a session it's been. If this is the last fish we have, then we've had a fantastic week. It's the final few hours of my session at Moulin de Passe. It's been a fantastic week with over 30 fish hitting the bank. I've had a PP, PB common, my son's had a PB mirror, both in the same double take. It's a fantastic venue, fantastic hospitality. What more could you want from a carp fishing holiday?